welcome back to my channel and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out my new Ahuhu 120 plus pen with fine tip markers. Here they are. They come in this bag and it's all sectioned inside. So but this is what it looks up. like inside. I ordered them in the colour sections and I swatched them out all last night. Here's the swatch cards. So today I'll be following a tutorial from Dramatic Parrot and I'll be using my new markers to colour it in afterwards. So without further ado, Let's go on to YouTube and find a Disney picture to draw from her YouTube channel and see what we can find. So I found this video and it's called My Top 5 Disney Cats. So I'm going to draw my top 5 Disney animals. So I'm going to go on to Pinterest and I'm going to search up the animals that are my favourite. Robin Hood is my favourite fox in the Disney franchise. Um, I'm gonna like gather some images and then I'll get back to you guys in a second. my photos now and when I was looking at them I decided to just follow along the Dramatic Barrett video because these are all my favourite Disney cats but the photos that I've got on my board I am going to do separate drawings and then I will include them in this video as well. So I'm going to get out my sketchbook and I'm going to draw along with Dramatic Parrot and I'm going to put it in a time lapse and then I'll come to a normal video to show you what I've done and then we can draw the other animals that we didn't draw from the video. So I'm going to get out my sketchbook now and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Blue. 
all being shaped with this vivid pink. All 18, which is pastel pink. B2, which is bright violet. B3, which is pastel violet. B4, which is the lavender. 120 black, and you can get this with all the other um, overview packs as well. And last but not least, the colorless blender, which is zero, and you can get this with all the other overview packs as well. So now that I have chosen all my colors, I'm going to put this, um, like protective sheet, which protects your pages which prevents any bleed through so I'm gonna use this while I'm colouring because I don't want it to go on to the other pages because then I won't be able to use the best of my sketchbook and the other thing that it comes with which is a um, booklet so it tells you what a who who is and what the other pens you can get and it gives you a colour wheel and on the back it tells you like different blending tutorials and it gives you a fact q and &E, um, question so it gives you different questions that people ask and it gives you a reversible budget um, instruction which is very useful so if you ever get a frayed budget tip it will it can turn around to a new brush tip. And I will show you what the pen looks like. So this is the barrel and it has like a grey line which shows where the fine tip is. And this is the brush tip and this will make it easier to blend out the colours. And it also, it, your pen rolls, it has two of these stoppers on the end of the lid. And also, a good thing is, it can click on the end, so if ever you wanted to have a lid on the end, so you don't lose the lid, that is really useful too. Because apparently the other parts, um, the other pack from last year, it wouldn't fit on the lid, so that's really handy. So now that that's out of the way, I'm going to crack on colouring it in, and I'm going to be putting it into a time lapse, and I'm going to put some music over it, so you guys can just colour along with the music. And so I'll see you at the end of the video, and I hope you are enjoying this overview review so without further ado let's get on with the colouring stage I bought these with my own money and this isn't a sponsored video. I just wanted to review them for you guys in case you guys were looking for a beginner brush and alternative to the expensive copay to do your artwork with. So the specific pack I, I have is the 120 which was a bit expensive but there are other packs which are cheaper and I think 
the Evil One Ali and the Twenty Four Forty Eight, but I'll give I'll leave a link to all the packs up down below in the description box, so you guys can check out their other packs if you want to look at it in some pens. These pens are really nice. Um, I haven't had any defaults on them yet. Touch wood. I don't want to jinx myself. Um, but the barrel is really nice. It has like a shiny, like, writing on them. And it has like a, um, grey line, which identifies where the, um, fine tip is. And it also has like pictures on the barrel of which side is the brush and which side is the fine tip. And it also has like a, two stoppers on the end of the lid and also the lid bit on the other end of the cap which is great um, and I'm really excited to start using these in my sketchbook and for my other projects as well this is what it looks like on the back of the page so there is definite ghosting and bleeding on the page but if you use the um, protective covering that they give you in the patch it will prevent any bleed through to the other paint because um if you don't eat it it will like literally just be through like five pages to throughout your step book because I did a um page back here so, yeah this one and it, I use the um, sheet as well for that one. Um, yeah, I, it does clean through, but if you don't mind the ghosting, um, and that's fine, but if you don't want ghosting, then I would recommend getting like a thicker book. Perhaps, I don't know the thicker. TSM paper numbers, but if you search up like marker paper, then it should come up on Amazon. But um, if you um like this drawing, then I will definitely leave the um other numbers down below, the ones that I used in the video, so you guys can colour along. I've been watching this video and I have written down on like a spare bit of card like the colours that I use um, throughout the artwork and I have texted some other pens just to blend them out but um, these are the main ones that I've used I just use like other colours just to um, blend out the other colours that weren't blending so, it just takes a bit of practice to get with the blending, so I'm really proud of this drawing. This is one of my favourite drawings I've done. Um, I really enjoyed making this drawing and video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you can and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for any more amazing videos like this one. And also if you want to see another video where I draw my other favourite animals then let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And with that all being said, thank you guys for taking your time and watching today's review and I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys very much for watching and happy creating everyone and I'll speak to you soon. Bye guys!